Well, today we're still in Udon Thani and uh, we've gone to the Chinese cultural um, place. Right, it's the Chinese cultur cultural centre. And there's Kevin and Pook over there. Never been to this place before. We've been to Udon Thani a couple of times. I think we're meeting up with Dave as well, who was at um, who was with us last night at the restaurant. We went to on the other side of Udon. It looks like Kevin's doing a video for for his channel. All right, Kev. Good morning. Good morning, Pook. Tell him what's happening here. Have you had breakfast yet? We haven't, we haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah. Morning, Dave. This, this is a 40 baht food. Ah, okay. You pay them 40 baht, you can top it up to you. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they also go, uh, give you eye crack degrees. It's like a charity. People yeah. donate yeah, food yeah. and everything. And the money they raise goes to the temple. Yes. Will, I, will I get my fried eggs and, and um, steak? Steak. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to do a little bit on this myself. I haven't... Um, well, Kevin's doing a video for, for his in, channel. We're going to go what, in here and have a coffee. What, what exactly is this place? It's a Chinese cultural centre. A what? museum, museum and everything. What's happened is, Let me back off Udon, Thani, Udon Thani was sort of like Prince Pajak. He was a part of the royal family. He was a military leader. He based his soldiers here, down where the monument is, Prince Pajak Monument. There's a museum in there, you get all the details. But briefly, oh, they... Right. Um, so he had his soldiers here. Local Chinese community, there was a big Chinese community in the village. They saw an opportunity, set up little businesses because of the soldiers here, and that's how Udon Thani grew. So there's a big, wow. big Chinese, Chinese community, community here, and yeah. this Chinese cultural centre tells you the story, the whole lot. It's yeah, a good right. museum, very yeah. good museum. Oh, well, and we'll, we'll, it tells you all about um, uh, Fu Manchu. Uh, Ho Chi Minh. Not Ho Chi Minh. No. No, um, no. no. Um, <laughs> oh, the famous philosopher, Chinese philosopher. Um, it begins with F, doesn't it? Oh. oh I've got to do a little video. Video. Well, hopefully, I'll get um, I'll get some nice video today from here. I think it's promoting all things Chinese and um, Dave said, I don't know if you caught it on the, my microphone because I'm wearing a mic and Dave was talking a meter away but he said there's um, a Chinese museum here as well explaining everything. So this is just just 40 baht. Oh, I, I could eat I could eat the pork, okay. We have a little restaurant attached to the um, the main building. Air conditioned, so it's absolutely lovely at the moment. The only thing that's going to be wrong with this video is Kevin's going to have probably exactly the same. Okay, teen, you eating here or not? Or? Oh, they've ordered a coffee already. You, you, you order, yeah? No. Okay. So I'm gonna sit down in a minute and have a have a nice coffee. There's Dave chilling out. Right. So while I'm waiting for my coffee, I thought I'd just nip outside and get a bit of video out here. I'll put a, a link to this place in the description below the video. It looks um, somewhere great to just come and visit and it's not far from the Panerai Hotel. It took literally five minutes in the car. Well, they keep everything uh, really nice and tidy and clean. There's supposed to be a koi pond round here somewhere. Alright, ah, I can see. 
Wow, hundreds of fish. Hello. Wow, look at that lot. Now oh, this place is beautiful. I'll just take a walk on the other side, have a look, see if there's anything different around there. So this day is, uh, we're very proud of Nudon Tani because we've got a big um, Chinese orchestra, youngsters, yeah. and, and they go to China and go in competitions. And this is where they um, normally practice and play. And then any kind of special dues, they use the stage for things. I've been here many times doing charity work for the children. Yeah, yeah nice We one. give money towards, um, sponsor the children to go to school and that type of thing. So they really do a lot of charity work here, really good, wow. really good. And over there, you can actually hire clothes and you can dress up this Chinese man or Chinese woman if you want. Right, you know, let me, to get into the feel of it. Let me just move my microphone a bit. Maybe I can hear you a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, it's really tidy here. Oh yeah, fish. Oh. And you can feed the fish. You can buy some food over there uh, in front of the museum and you can feed the fish. Oh. Lots of fish. Yeah. Are these real or plastic? Oh, they're plastic. Plastic. Yeah, plastic, yeah. They wouldn't last five minutes in this weather. <laughs> yeah, beautiful place. I'll have, a, I'll have a proper walk around after I've had my, my coffee. First one of the morning. Yeah, so this building here, um, we've got downstairs and upstairs, and that's the museum in there. And then on the right hand side, going along the shops, there's a really nice tea shop. So if you want to treat yourself to yeah. some really nice Chinese tea, well, a really I'm, good shop. And you can I'm, taste it too. Yeah, well, I'm going to shock you now because I'm a PG tips man. Oh. <laughs> and I've yet to find one that I like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is. Uh, you know, considering it's only literally around the corner from the hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's definitely worth a visit. Oh this is definitely this is like being in China. Now, if you don't know Chinese culture, this goes zigzag. And in China and some of the mainly places they've got bigger ones. And the reason why they do it zigzag is to stop the spirits, the bad spirits following you. Ah, right. <laughs> it confuses them. And it stops the bad spirits, so that's what they say, yeah. Well, I, I won't go up there yet, Dave, right? Oh, yeah, I'll go that's back. really good filming up there. Right, the I'll go back and have my coffee first, yeah. and then we'll come out and stay out for a bit. Yeah. It's absolutely scorching at the moment. Let me just check, it's 37 degrees, so it's a little bit warm. Right, we've just come back a little bit. We're going to walk around the other side of the building first and have a look. Loads of uh, koi carp here. But I've just been in the restaurant with Kevin and um, we've been talking about eye operations. I've had to wear reading glasses for a long time and um, the glasses I got are very focals and they've got, um, it, it, it's like my eyes have been getting worse and worse when I'm driving. My prescription on my glasses is only a little bit and um, it looks like I've either got to get new glasses or consider this treatment. Dave, just mention about your your eye treatment. Ah. Well, cheers, Dave. He's, yep. he's, had, he's had the, um, the treatment. He's had I've had, the... uh, found, when I paid for it, it's a thousand pound an eye, and it was trifocal, and that means it, I can go from small to long distance, all on the same lens, automatically. Yeah. And yeah. was it painful? No, no pain at all. Nothing no. at all. And really the operation took about 10, 10 to 15 minutes per eye. It, and it, no pain. It really bothers me when I think of people cutting my eye or putting needles oh, in my yeah. eye. So it's pain free. Yeah. And, and you say the results were pretty. pretty, pretty yeah, it's good. Yeah, so I don't wear glasses at all now. Yeah. So when, when me and Tina now go back to Camerats, we're going to have another few weeks. I'm, I'm going to look into it and see if it's for me and um, what they reckon is you can have a, they do these tests first to make sure that it's suitable for you and um, I'm going to have a think about that 
I got to go to the dentist as well. So we may come back to you, Don, in a month's time if I decide to do it. But um, I'll keep you informed on that one. Right, just continuing on a little bit from where we were before. We're going to walk down this side now. Some nice sculptures and things around the place. Typical Chinese style. I would recommend this place definitely. So how long you lived in um, 11 years, Udon, Dave? 11 years. 11 years, wow. Well, over 11 years now. Yeah. I've been in Thailand six and a half years. Coming up to, coming up to seven. Yeah, check this out on the left here, look. That's the tea shop we just gone past. Oh, how cool is that, love? My, li my little monitor is looking quite dark, so I hope it all comes out okay. Welcome, right. welcome gentlemen. Junker. Oh, wow. There's all different types of tea here. I hope it's okay for me to film, yeah? Yes. That's fine. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Over here. They don't have PG tips, no? No PG tips, not no, here, no. no PG no English, tips. No English breakfast, no all grey. No. Not the Chinese tea. What does that say? I wouldn't do that for all the tea in China. And they've certainly got some tea in China, different wow. different styles and different types. This is amazing. Mm. Have a little walk from there. Yeah. Apparently on the other side where we parked the car there's um, the proper Chinese temple. We're going to take a walk around there later. Is, is all this stuff for sale, Pook? All these teapots and things? For sale. Yeah. Teapot and teabag. That's got to be plastic, surely. I think that's, that's a plastic one. All the different teas for sale. I think Tina's going to buy one. Tina, can I see that one? Which one? Oh, sorry. Now, Tina is buying buy an at here I just showed you and they're gonna they're gonna make a make a cup for her to try you got all the gear here yeah, to to make the tea. I like this, just the little thing for boiling the water. Mm. It looks, I like it's electronic, it looks like something from ancient China, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. What's, what's she doing, Tim? <laughs> right, I, I just seen her throw the tea away, and Kevin's going to explain now. Okay, we're doing a, a filming you, filming me, filming you. Okay, so what it is. And I'm in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> So the, the, what she does, she brews the tea once and then that they throw it away because it cleans the tea. The second one opens the tea up to give out flavour and that's quite a mild, quite a mild flavour. But the third brew, the third brew is when the tea is ready to really brew its full strength and you get the full flavour from it. Okay? Is this the second one? Is this number two? This is second yeah. brew. And then you taste... Smell that. Wow. It is really good, really good, really good. 
Oh, that's good. I'm glad they sell it, though, because I can go back in and get this one then. <coughs> this video could turn out a little bit longer than I thought. Go for it, Dave. Hmm. People are hooked now. They're thinking, don't turn the camera off, keep it going. <laughs> this Let's one see. here is so is sweet and it's a lovely taste and fruity taste. It's it? really good to What's tea. it called? Is it, what's this tea? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, Right, these are the ones for us to taste now. I'll just turn my camera around. So we've just watched the, the preparation and here's the tea now. Have a taste. Let's get the verdict. You got to slurpy, right? Slurpy now. Pookie, come and show you how to drink tea. Interesting. Ready? Maybe I can't slurp because it's Come on. Not quite the same as my PG tips, but um, <laughs> it, it's, it's very nice. I think you can put some milk. <laughs> <laughs> put some milk in her. <laughs> yeah? She's a heathen, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a PG tip. <laughs> So now she's mixing up number three now, which is supposed to be the best, the best flavour. Have to get back to you on that one. This will give you the full strength. Once you get into this, day, you wouldn't want milk and sugar um, in tea yeah. again. You wouldn't drink normal PG tips or Thai food. Yeah, yeah, PG tips is alright. I like PG tips. The, um, it's good. The milk that throws it for me. Right, this is number three. Number three. This is it. Supposed to be the best one. Yeah, this will be the best. Alright, let me grab that. Just flip my camera Let's around. Number three. Definitely stronger. Yeah? Definitely. Nice. Um, well, okay. <laughs> so you go for the second, bro. And that's what suits yeah, you? Yeah, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just I'm not used to drinking tea without, without, milk. without milk. You'll be surprised. I've been that spoiled. Honestly, we've been one week, Dave. Tina, I'm having number three. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Kevin and Pook on the same trial. That's how I like it. Strong. Mm. Like me. Strong. <laughs> Good, good demonstration from the ladies as well. well. I've only got a little bit left now. Not as, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but um, I, could, I could drink this. It was good. Inside there, uh, the lady showed us how to make tea properly. Tina's bought some as well, so we'll continue our walk around this complex here. I'm going to be really annoyed if I get pulled up by YouTube for this music. Apparently this is a little area where everybody likes to have their photo taken. Well this room here tells you about the history with the king. There's king number 10 there. Up there is king number 9. I don't really know all the story about all these photos but um, if somebody wants to come here and read all the, all the writing, all the information's here. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, though. I'm glad that I'm glad we've come. But I like this here. Uh, it looks like one of them things where where they have all the bonsais, but 
I can't actually see any bonsais. Apparently there's there's normally more water that comes over these rocks but I don't know if they only turn it on certain times of the day but it's not on at the moment. Really interesting place. So this is a this is the museum. You go up there, okay, right the way round, then you go downstairs and it takes you all the way around and it gives you the history yeah. of Udon Thani. You can see some of the old black and white pictures up there. And this one looks familiar. <laughs> this one looks very familiar. She makes a lovely cup of tea, this lady. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you want me to sign my name here? I won't actually film that. But you're the pretty face for the, for the, for the museum, yeah? <laughs> So this is the upstairs of the museum. Yeah. Kevin, is this is this is this lady going to appear somewhere else? No, no, around. Go up there, it is a mannequin, and it's her. There are um, a lot of writings, and it's in English for in people English. to read yeah. in English as well. Yeah. Oh, the little masks look cool. Yeah, the, all, all the different families, Chinese families, uh, the groups of them, are, um, they have the different masks representing the families, and that's what all the different colours are and the designs for the different families. Dave, Dave's a little bit of an authority yeah. on, and, um, on the Chinese museum, And it museum, is definitely yeah? worth coming to Don Tani for Chinese New Year. Absolutely brilliant. So you've, you've spent time in China, have you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Beijing, Xi'an, um, oh. Chanda. Uh, Monga on the in Mongolia. Um, yeah. And there's Kevin down there doing his uh, his video for for his YouTube. Looks like a scene from a Chinese restaurant. Is this the typical food they eat, Dave? Well, this is food, yeah, but this is also blessings up um, to the um, their gods. Oh, right. The Chinese gods. Mm. Oh, I've seen a few of these around on the various festivals. There's a lot to see here for a, for a quite, quite a small place. And all this bit here is all to do with Chinese New Year, the, the, uh, for the, you know, for the uh, lion dancing and the face masks and everything and the way they dress up and paint up. And this is all about Chinese New Year. Right, we've gone down a couple of flights of stairs now. So this is on the bottom, still plenty of sea, and I think we're coming to the end now. We just walked round to the other side, we're still on the ground floor. Well, I think it's the ground floor, the bottom. Very interesting. And I've just been informed that the tortoise here if you touch the tortoise, it's supposed to give you it's supposed to give you long life. So my life's been quite long at the moment. Somebody taking a bit of shelter from the sun. Little birdie there. I like these birds because they're not shy. Well, not very shy. Beautiful dress. Feeding the pigeons fish food. Mm. Following me around. <laughs> you just you just want you want my telephone number. <laughs> you know, you can only you only have to ask. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe she's the owner. Generic worker. That's something that come out in England, did not it? Under, you know, contract, you know, work contract. They didn't start saying generic work, but they start in the general hospital. So generic work, yeah. Oh, these are beautiful. 
I'm going to be very hungry as well. Thai Chinese Cultural Centre. That's where we are. All right, we're not going to do the whole of the temple because it's scorching off. It's open on the sides. And uh, I think we've got enough for this video. Here's a nice little park where Kevin and Puka has their uh, exercise. Nongbua Park, it's called Nongbua. Nongbua Park. Well, I filmed enough for today. Uh, we're going back to the hotel now, have a dip in a pool, maybe get something to eat. So, until the next video, bye-bye.